There are many ways that we can have a more sustainable summer. NBC 15's Phoebe Murray caught up with Wisconsin's 75th Alice in Dairyland on the current look at sustainability in the dairy industry. There are many ways that we can have a more sustainable summer, including taking some tips from an unexpected recycling expert, the dairy cow. Here to tell us more about how Wisconsin dairy farmers are committed to a sustainable future is Wisconsin's 75th Alice in Dairyland. Taylor Schaefer, good morning. Thank good you so morning. much for joining for us. Me. So I know that I don't like to waste in my own home, and farmers are along that same wavelength, correct? Absolutely, and I always like to say that every day is Earth Day for Wisconsin dairy farmers. So they're always looking for new ways to use their nutrients wisely, and that includes what they feed their cattle as well. You might be surprised by the amount of things that dairy cows can eat every single day, including forages that humans can't consume, but also some byproducts that would be otherwise end up in a landfill. So for some examples, I have distillers grains from ethanol plants. So once we have ethanol or gas in our tank, this isn't really something that we always think about. So this can be become a very important part of their diet every single day on top of cotton seed for manufacturers as well so again okay. the clothes that we wear every single day and the one that surprised me the most was actually corn gluten pellets so these are the byproduct for making sugar oh, wow. so again something humans use every single day and these are all things that we can't necessarily consume so cows can actually use their four stomachs to really digest all of these different foods and produce high quality dairy products for us to enjoy fascinating so mm -hmm. how do how do farmers know what to feed their cattle then farmers are often working with experts like nutritionists or even veterinarians to always ensure that their animals are always happy and healthy and these are the people that know what these animals need best too yeah. and these farmers are so committed to everything that they do every single day this is truly their livelihood so these animals have been with them from the very start and they of course know what they need best and where can we go to find more information about uh, dairy sustainability mm -hmm. well if you're shopping in store the best way to ensure that you're purchasing Wisconsin dairy products to really support Wisconsin dairy farmers is to either look for the proudly Wisconsin badge or the number 55 on packaging but if you are looking for more information on how Wisconsin dairy farmers are committed to a sustainable future you can visit wisconsindairy.org. Beautiful. And Taylor, tell me a little bit about these products mm -hmm. on, our, on our left over here. So everything from milk to sour cream, even yogurt and cheese, every dairy product, regardless what, of what it is, provides the same 13 essential nutrients. So these dairy products are great to either have on their own or mix in with some other things that you have as well. I love to experiment with different recipes, especially making new charcuterie boards this time of the year now that it's getting a little bit warmer outside. Yes, please. But of course, with the upcoming National Dairy Month that will officially kick off on June 1st, there's a lot of different ways that you can celebrate including with including uh, dairy products in your everyday diet as well oh Taylor thank you so much for joining us in today thanks this for morning. having me thank you to the cows as well <laughs> and we will be right back